Hi, my name is Andy. This is a gentle movement practice to help support feelings of calm in your body. Um, if you're a person who works with anxiety, um, deals with a lot of racing thoughts that you have trouble getting away from, then um, hopefully this practice will be supportive for your connection to the present moment. And you know what's best for your body, so if at any point the movement that I'm doing um, doesn't feel supportive or doesn't feel comfortable, you can always pause, rest on your back, um, lying on your belly with your head, resting on your palms, or um, even just sit up like I am now and take a rest. You can always jump back in if and when you feel ready. So um, with that, I'll invite you to start lying down on your belly. So for this shape, you can just rest your whole body on the ground. I'm on my sticky mat today, but if you have a blanket or a towel, um, that works great to practice on. You can even just practice right on the floor. That works too. So if it's comfortable, I'll invite you to bend your elbows and take your forehead to the backs of your hands like this. So I'm gonna keep my face turned towards you just so I can do a little bit of a guided meditation here, but I would invite you if it's comfortable to turn your forehead to the backs of your hands. Another option is always turning your gaze to the side. And then you can find a soft gaze, not really looking too hard at anything, or you might even try closing your eyes. Either one works. And just to start to become more present to your body. You might notice your breath or your heartbeat. As you breathe, you might feel your belly press into the floor. You might notice the sturdy feeling of the ground or some sounds around you. And I would invite you to sense into the shape of your body and just check in with how you're feeling today. And see if you can try not to judge yourself, not judging how you're feeling or whether parts of you are feeling tense today or more open, but just noticing. And then staying present to how you're feeling, I would invite you to bend both knees and just start to windshield wipe your feet from side to side. So I have a nice wall right here beside me that I have to look out for. You may have to negotiate with um, some things around you, but it's just a gentle movement from side to side with the legs. And then from here, release your legs down to the ground. I'll invite you to bring your palms to either side of your chest, press the ground away, lift your body up through this hands and knees pose, we'll call it tabletop, and then sink your hips back towards your heels. For today, we'll call this pose resting warrior. So your hips might sink back down towards your heels. You can rest your forehead on the ground. And you might stay still here, or you could try Finding some gentle movement from side to side. I get a lot of headaches, so it feels nice to give my forehead a little massage here. If your forehead's far away from the ground, you might stack up two fists and gently rest your forehead on your hands. We'll be here for just a few more moments. You might try adding some breath to this shape Inhaling and exhaling out of your nose. And if noticing your breathing is stressful for you, you can always skip that, no big deal at all. And if your hands are under your forehead, please lengthen them long, palms will come down to the mat. Press the ground away, lift your body up through table and then bend both elbows and lower to your belly. You might exhale as you do that. Roll your shoulders down your back, lift your chest any amount, and then release your forehead to the floor. You may inhale as you press the ground away, 
sink your hips towards your heels. Maybe you exhale as you take it back. Find stillness here, or maybe it's little baby movements from side to side. Always know you can stay here in Resting Warrior for the whole video or as long as you would like to. From here, notice where your palms connect to the ground. I'll invite you to press the ground away, lift your body up through center, and then bend both elbows and lower all the way down to the earth. You might breathe in as you lift your heart. It's called Cobra Pose. And then lower your forehead to the ground. Press the earth away, using a little strength in your belly to lift up, and then slowly lower back down. You might take an easy breath in, and an easy breath out. Press down, lift up through tabletop, and then bend both elbows lower to the ground. You could try inhaling as you lift your heart. And then maybe you exhale as you lower. Press down to lift your body through table and then send your hips towards your heels. We'll be here for just a few moments. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, press down through your palms, lift your body up to table. And then you might take your palms a little wider than shoulders to give your body extra space today. I'll invite you to try pressing into your hands so that you find some lift through your shoulders. And then you can stay right here, finding a little bit of strength through your arms and your belly. Option to add an inhale and exhale through your nose. Maybe you try intentionally breathing into your shape here. As you feel ready, press the ground away, round your back body to the sky. And then bring your spine to neutral. Press the ground away, round your back body to the sky. And bring your spine back to neutral. We'll do that one more time. Press the ground away, back body lifts towards the ceiling. And then lower your spine back to neutral. From here, you might lift up on your fingertips to step your right foot forward between your hands into a lunge with your right foot forward. So options here, you can keep your fingertips on the ground or you might bring your hands to the top of your thigh for support. And then from here, lift up through the crown of your head. I'll invite you to imagine the top of your head reaching towards the ceiling, like when you were little and weren't quite tall enough maybe to get on a, oh yeah, no, no, no. So from here, I'll invite you to lift up through the crown of your head. You might relax your shoulders down your back. You may notice some strong sensation through the front of your left hip or your right. Maybe you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. One more moment here. You may notice some heat in your legs or sensation through your hips. And then go ahead and lower your hands to the ground. Step your right knee back to meet your left. Press the ground away. You'll find that neutral spine and then round your back body to the sky. And bring your spine back to neutral so your hips go back, your heart goes forward, and then step your left foot between your hands. So it's a low lunge on the left side, left foot forward, right knee back. And you can always scooch your right knee back to make more space. You can take your left foot out to the side to create more space for your belly or for your body. And then go ahead and maybe you bring your hands to the top of your thigh. Other option, leave your fingertips on the ground. It might feel nice to roll your shoulders down your back. Maybe you take a few shoulder rolls right here. Lift your crown up to the sky. Maybe you take a breath in. And then 
then lower your palms to either side of your left foot. Step your left foot back to meet your right. And then you lower your palms to the floor. Sweep your left knee back to meet your right. We'll come back to that tabletop shape. You might breathe in as you press the ground away. And then exhale as you round your back body up to the sky. Gently bring your spine back to neutral. So hips go back, heart goes forward. And then let your knees stay parallel and you might rest your hips back towards your heels in resting warrior. And stay still or maybe you rock your whole body from side to side here. Are there any thoughts right there at the front of your mind that you can imagine spilling down into the ground? Almost as if you're clearing out some of the extra thoughts in your brain. And from here, I'll invite you to press down, lift your body up to table. And then options, walk your palms a handprint forward, keep your knees on the ground. You can stay right here with your knees down, or you might turn your toes under and lift your knees off the ground, coming into a plank pose for just a moment here. So bringing a little bit of heat into your body, knees can be up or you can take the knees to the earth. Wherever you are, imagine your crown moving forward as your heels move towards the back of the room. And you might take an easy breath in and an easy breath out. Drop your knees to the ground if they're not already. Then both elbows lower all the way down to your belly. Put your forehead on the backs of your hands and take a pause. You might notice that just by coming into this supported shape, your breath begins to slow down. And you're encouraging your body's innate ability to regulate, to come back to center. Just a few more moments right here. See if you can give yourself permission to rest fully in this moment. And then from here, I'll invite you to bring your palms to either side of your chest. If you're feeling great resting right here, always the option to stay or bring your palms to either side of your chest. As you breathe in, reach your shoulders back, maybe your heart lifts, and then lower your forehead to the ground. From here, reach both arms back behind you, so straightening out through the arms, and then lift up your right arm, your left leg, your chin, and your chest. You might breathe in as you do that. Lower to the ground. Switching sides, this time left arm, Right leg, chin and chest lift, and then soften and lower. Right arm, left leg, chin and chest lift off the ground. Maybe you breathe in. You might exhale as you lower. And then left arm, right leg, chin and chest. Maybe you inhale as you lift, and you might exhale as you lower. Turn your right cheek to the earth, and just pause for a moment here. And then gently draw your chin back to center. We'll do one more shape right here. It's called a locust pose. So you might really reach your fingertips back. That reach will let your shoulders lift up off the ground. And then maybe your heart follows. So now the heart is moving forward in space. You can keep your legs on the ground or lift your legs up. You might drop your gaze in front of you so that there's length through the back of your neck. And pause right here, big Superman pose, strong energy through the fingertips and the toes. You might take some big breaths in and out here, or you can really focus your gaze down or even forward, imagining something that you're looking forward to. And if you haven't already, go ahead and lower down this time. You might turn your le left cheek to the earth. Pausing. You might 
it sends into your whole body breathing itself here. And I'll invite you to bring your palms to either side of your chest. Press the ground away. Lift your body up through table. And then go ahead and roll forward to seated. You can come into this shape anyway. Legs will lengthen out in front of you. Sitting up strong in staff pose. So you can take your fingertips to the ground here behind you. And you might allow your elbows to squeeze in towards each other. And so we'll find a little stretch through the backs of the legs here, well, a little or big stretch. You can flex your feet, your toes back towards your body, and that'll kind of control the sensation through the backs of your legs. So you might flex in really hard. You might like the sensation of that stretch, or maybe let your feet relax a little more. You might play around with different foot placements to see which feels the most supportive for you here. And then once you've Picked a spot, feet flexed, feet relaxed, somewhere in the middle. I'll invite you to pause for just a few moments. And let your crown reach towards the sky. Maybe you take a few big breaths in and out through your nose. And then please bend both knees, bring the soles of your feet down to the ground. Wrap your arms around your shins. They can come to shins or ankles. And then start here, lift up, lengthen your spine. And then begin to lower your chin down towards your chest. So notice how the back of your neck feels here. You might find that just a little movement down feels like a good stretch for you where you can keep dropping your chin to your chest until you find the place where the stretch feels the most comfortable and sustainable for you. So if the sensation is too strong or too much, you can always come back up out of it. You wanna to get to a place that maybe you feel the stretch, you feel some sensation, but it's not sending you into panic mode. Let your torso rest on your legs here, your knees. You might imagine breathing into the space between your shoulder blades, noticing how that feels. One more moment right here. And slowly start to roll your spine so that it's lifted. Your crown rises back up towards the ceiling. And then bring your fingertips or your palms behind you. You can heel toe the soles of your feet just a little bit wider than your hips width and drop them down to the right and then to the left. So finding a windshield wiper motion. You might notice some sensation through your low back and hips. And then start to walk your palms back in towards your body. And options here, you can come into a seated posture, either leaning against a wall. Oh, I got some gnarly some on my face here from the sunset. Or you can come back to that original shape we started in, lying all the way down on your belly with your forehead in the backs of your hands. So either seated or you might come back to this supported shape with your belly on the earth. You can close your eyes or you can find a soft gaze. You begin to sense into your body and checking back in with how you're feeling. You may notice the places where your body, your physical shape connects to the ground. You may notice the cadence of your heartbeat. 
unique because it belongs to you, but connected to all other heartbeats. And for these next few moments, you might imagine that your thinking mind, your thinking brain, is just taking these, these few beats, these few moments to rest. If there are thoughts going through, see if you can allow them to move in and move out almost as if they were clouds just drifting through the sky. So you might see them, you can notice them, but see what happens if you just let them move on by. We'll be here for just a few more moments. And if you are resting on your belly, you can stay as long as you would like to. Or if you feel ready, you might bring your palms to either side of your chest to lift yourself up. And if you're seated, we'll meet you right here I'll invite you to bring your hands to your heart center in this prayer pose. If it's comfortable, you can bow your head to your heart. I'm taking this final moment to connect to your body. And maybe if it's comfortable for your neck, you drop your chin to your chest. One more time, just connecting to the strength of your body. And thank you for taking this time to move and to connect to yourself.